Hi, welcome to the program. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Rosanna Zayas is here with us. The L Word Generation Q is here on Showtime. Hey. This is pretty awesome. Look at this right here. I know. Look You're at all, all my friends. Place. Yeah, it's a good squad here. Yeah, they're cool people. <laughs> they look good. Yes, they yeah. all look good. Really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this is a pretty wild chapter for you. You just got done shooting the show. You got another project. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're fully in it right now. So yeah. what have the last couple months been like for you, just from a personal level with all this? Um, they've been pretty crazy, but good crazy. Because mm. the show is so great, and everybody's just having a great time with it. And um, just excited to see how people react to the season. What have been some of the reactions? Like, what have your favorite reactions been so far? Um, well, for the premiere, we secretly like went into a um, a bar in LA and uh, a viewing party. Nice. And uh, <laughs> it was a there were a bunch of crazy reactions, but I think the the one that was like insane was ah Tina, <laughs> like everyone's screaming Tina. And um, every time, you know, one of the OG characters mm -hmm. would come out, it was just like the roof went up and away. <laughs> 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 like everybody was just so excited to see Bet and Shane and um, Alice. It was it was insane. Did you realize how much of a connection these OG women had with people out there? Because like this was a good show, it was a popular show, but like oh, yeah. when you saw it in this iteration, like was it a whole different experience for you? Um, yeah, it was different. I mean, because I watched the show, I was a fan of the mm -hmm. show too growing up, but I didn't have the opportunity to like go to viewing parties right. and like sit with hundreds <laughs> of people. Like that place was packed That's like insane. there was like a line down the block to get inside and it was amazing to see but I never I've never been in a room of like hundreds mm. of people That's screaming really cool. Tina <laughs> 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 that was insane but it was so much fun that's really cool yeah. so when you think about this show like it clearly goes there we have nude scenes we have all yeah. different type of relationships like you're just out there like it's <laughs> happening it's just a part of the deal I can't help it this <laughs> is life people but that's yeah. real life which I love about the show so what was mm -hmm. it like for you guys kind of unpacking a lot of things that people go through in their own lives but just doing it on a TV show <sighs> I'd say that's the hardest part of acting in general mm -hmm. I feel like because the, the things that we do every day, actually, we don't think about them. No. Never. Right? Yeah. You're in a fight with someone, you're, you, you love someone in a certain way, or, or, or just everyday things. Like, you don't really have to process it. But acting is a process, right? right. So you're like, okay, I have to do this and this and this. But yeah, it's, 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 a, hard, it's a hard one. It's, it takes time, it really does, to really try and dissect the things that connect people mm -hmm. and then put it on camera. How long did it take to get comfortable playing this character? Um, I don't know if comfortable is the right word, but it took me, I'd say it took me a while to feel grounded in mm -hmm. my character. Because, you know, this was brand new. This is the Generation Q, right. so it's, you know, it's, an, it's a new person you're meeting for the first time. And um, I think the amazing thing about it is that Marja Lewis Ryan, mm -hmm. uh, our showrunner and writer, she really wanted to write to us and really figure out who we were as people and, and try and put that as much into the writing as possible and find our voices. And, uh, but with the circumstances of the show. And so mixing those two things, you know, it, it does take a little bit of time. And so I felt like, honestly, I have to be honest, probably maybe episode three, I was like, oh, okay, I'm feeling good now, I feel okay. Yeah, you kind of have so, to work some stuff out those yeah. first couple episodes, because it's a new character, mm -hmm. new situation. And just for you personally, like getting used to all the different yeah. people around you. And then who's this woman gonna be? You know, right. that's, that's a question you have to answer, and of course you have some people to help you, but in mm -hmm. your own skin, in your own mind, you need time to really go through that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, you have to really um, think about the choices that this character is making throughout their life, mm -hmm. and like how that changes them, and how that changes uh, the connection they have with other people. Yeah. yeah. 
totally. So mm -hmm. I feel like TV is getting a lot smarter, and it certainly yeah. is reflecting real life in a better way. Mm -hmm. So what fascinated you the most just about this show and just about the plot and the way things kind of are built out with the characters? Um, I guess what fascinated me the most was the different generations of queer life, mm -hmm. right? So you have the OGs, and they're from a very specific time, and and they were going through very specific things, and now you get to meet a whole new group of people living their lives today in 2019, and like seeing what those differences are between the generations, and how each generation has influenced the other, mm -hmm. was pretty amazing. Yeah, it's really interesting because you think about where queer life was mm -hmm. not that long ago, yeah. where it is now, and there's certainly still a ton of challenges with it, but what was it like for you to kind of look at the differences between the two and just look at some of the progress that has been made in the way we talk about things, reflect yeah. certain people on TV and all that? Um, I think some of the amazing things that I've seen is just the the vocabulary now mm -hmm. that we have when it when it comes to talking about certain communities and, and um, the how powerful it is to tell these stories now on television in this era and you know especially like characters like Micah mm -hmm. for the trans community yeah. now on it's television huge, it's huge. so important and it's so amazing to to see that journey throughout the season and and hopefully throughout television as we keep going and yeah. another thing is that TV looks a lot different than when we were growing up and right. the different faces that we see. But exactly. when you were growing up, who were some of the people that you looked at and you're like, oh, I, I love what this person too, and I'm all about Ooh. this? Ooh, um, wow. You know, I have to say, I will never forget watching Selena mm. growing it up. It seems to be a big <laughs> one, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it's, 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 you don't get to see Hispanic or black women mm -hmm. on television being the leads often and like every time I saw that I was I was just glued to the television it was profound yeah. at that time and even still when you see women from the Hispanic yeah. communities leading in ro different ways like it's a really cool thing mm -hmm. and then we need to see more of it it's not just the woman in the background there or playing right. the girlfriend it's like no this is a powerful yeah. leading role mm -hmm. and it's cool to be seeing that in 2019 yeah. and beyond yeah it's really awesome how about Juilliard? Let's talk Ooh. about that. <laughs> because we've had some Juilliard people in here, and it's like oh. crazy audition process. Right. Like, there's a ton of pressure when you're there to perform. Mm -hmm. So how do you remember your time at Juilliard? Wow, my time at Juilliard. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, it wasn't that long ago. I just graduated a few years yeah. ago, actually. So that's insane, the fact that I'm able to help tell this amazing story, um, having graduated not that long ago um, it was insane you know it's crazy you're <laughs> you're in a building with about 18 other 17 other people in your class and uh, you're going through it every single day like Monday through Sunday like every day no breaks no <laughs> no breaks like maybe Christmas mm -hmm. maybe if you're lucky <laughs> maybe if you're lucky um, yeah, and so you're just like it's you feel the growing pains because there's just so much to learn and such a it's such a long process. You're there for four years, mm. not like other graduate programs that are like three years or two even. Um, and you you're getting to know people in a very close, intimate way, which is acting. Yeah, and it can yeah. be a lot, and it can have its <laughs> rough days. But that that is a business. Oh that yeah, shows. tons of rough days. <laughs> tons of rough days. <laughs> <laughs> but how did it prepare you overall for the industry? Because it, it's a beast, it's a whirlwind. What are the little right. things you picked up along the way? I think something that I learned there that was super important was learning how to adapt uh, to different ways of, of process, of, how, of, a, of another person's process. Like, I felt like from Juilliard I learned that I could walk into this room and and they'd be working a certain way and it, it, it would only take me a certain amount of time to pick that up mm -hmm. and to be able to roll with it and work like that, like them or or try to have the same the similar goal in mind and, and try to work through it a specific way. And then I could go into another room and do the same thing, but it's a completely different process. And uh, because Juilliard just gives you so a, a lot of different things to work with, 
you kind of have a huge toolbox mm. of, of things that you can do that can help you throughout your entire life. Yeah, that's important, not just for work, yeah. but for life as well. Yeah. So when you think about your career so far, you've been on a bunch of different sets. What has been most surprising so far? I mean, this is like a whole different, Whoa. brighter light, but like, what are some <clears> things that have caught you off guard that you didn't anticipate doing in your career? Wow, that's a good question. Um, something that's caught me off guard. I guess I'd say that, I mean, when you're watching TV, mm -hmm. you don't see the millions of people behind There's the camera. There's a lot that goes into it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, the credits, like, those are all people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and um, I guess I guess something that surprised me, I mean, I guess I kind of knew, but to actually see it was just how passionate each person mm -hmm. is at their job and how how every little detail is just as important as, you know, the people, the actors you see on TV who are living these lives for you, you know? And it, it does, it takes an entire village. Yeah. Yeah, no to make there. a TV show, wow. <laughs> it takes a lot of people. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the type of show that really says something and I feel like can really impact people. Mm -hmm. Have there been people you've met or people reach out to you on social media that have kind of separated from some of the others that have been really profound in your life? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'd say like a lot of the, the fans from the original show, uh, they definitely, you know, they get to you and they mm -hmm. tell you their life story and they tell you how it's changed them in in such a profound way and and uh, help them accept themselves more. Mm -hmm. And that's something that was really beautiful to see. Like, you know, I nobody cared about my Instagram before, you know? <laughs> 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 and so now I get to like actually be on there and and see what this show has been such a platform mm -hmm. for people to actually speak up and and talk about how it's changed their lives and that's been so amazing to watch it's pretty funny how your instagram account can change just right. like that it's like you're just Nobody posting things with your cared, friends okay. and then suddenly you got this microphone this platform it's like oh this oh, is some responsibility here absolutely absolutely yes yes i mean how many friends did i have before three <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding i have more than three but you're grounded but, you're ready to be yeah. talking about all this stuff you've had some life experience and now you're yeah. ready to share it and i think that's a cool thing about it yeah and it's it's cool to share it with so many people which no is doubt great. So if people haven't checked it out yet, what's the big pitch to get them involved? I mean, all different types of people are Ooh. wanting to check it out, but what are yeah. the kind of the big things you want mm. people to be thinking about? Um, well, I guess I'd say the show is about two generations of queer life coming together and uh, making it in L.A., mm. which is pretty cool. And also the New Yorkers out there who are watching it. I'm from New York, so I'm on it watch it <laughs> which is good <laughs> but you get to see people from a bunch of different places and uh, different backgrounds and different cultures and and I hope that people can relate to it I think so yeah and you play a TV producer too which yeah, people can TV get into producer, right did you yeah. learn anything about TV I mean obviously you learned a ton getting yeah. into it in the business but like mm -hmm. what did you learn just from the role well I I was so nervous about it because I'm not a producer. I don't know <laughs> what that, I'm yeah. an actor <laughs> when you're playing a producer. Um, so I shadowed all the producers on our set, and I would just come to work and just watch them do their thing, and I was like, wow. And if you have it's a moment a where you forget, and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to look out and see right, what they're right. looking like right now. Right, exactly. <laughs> just, just look over there, and there they are. But, oof, that's a lot of work. A lot goes into it. Maintaining a whole world of people yeah creating a show no doubt for showtime that's a lot <laughs> <laughs> all right good deal really thank nice you so you. much check her out showtime sundays right that's sundays what it's at 10. there you go for rosani i'm dj see you next time you're on the sit down